What's the crack YouTube? Ivory Silverstack here, and today I'm going to do a new video, a new series called The Shit Silver Bugs Say. This is by no means a hit out to the silver community. I've been collecting, hoarding, stacking silver, whatever you want to call it, for the last eight to ten years, and I've been having a great time doing so. But I've been hearing the same thing ten years ago as that I'm hearing now, and it's starting to drive me a little bananas. One of the funniest ones that I come across every time, it's beyond me that people are that stupid that they actually think it's going to happen is this bartering system. We're going to eventually come across an, a time where there's an economic shutdown, that shit hits the fan scenario, these doomsday that the banks are going to default, government's going to get overthrown, and it's going to be an absolute terrible, terrible thing. And they think, here's a dime. I'll give you this dime. You give me the loaf of bread. Bartering system. Five pebbles for, I don't know, say a light bulb. If there's even electricity. That's just not going to happen. For instance, if I had a silver dime in my hand and I went to Joe Public down the road and I said, what is this? He's not going to know what it is. He's going to know it's a dime, but he's not going to know it's made of silver. They don't even know what it's worth. Go up with the silver eagle. What is this? I don't know what it is. Just because there's a worst case scenario doesn't mean that all of a sudden people are going to fall in love with silver. The fact of the matter is, government will have a reserve currency. You can call it whatever you want. Call it the new dollar, the new sterling, the new euro. Just give it a new name, tell the people that this is what it is, and they will take it, and they will run with it. They will prefer to use that than to use this piece of silver that they will exchange for a loaf of bread. The fact of the matter is, it's 2017. We're moving forward, not backwards. People are not going to go into a bartering system. Whether you like it or not, it's just not going to happen. One of the things I've been hearing from day one, silver cannot go any lower. We were at 2011, maybe around 45 to $50 silver. They were saying there's absolutely no way that it can go any lower. It went down to 40 and then they said, wow, it's gone down. This is a great buying opportunity. Went down to 35 and they said, this is it. We went down to 30. People were saying, max out your credit cards because it isn't going to go any lower. Went down to 25, went back up to 27. Then it went down to 25, then it went to 20. People said, this is ridiculous, and it went down to 15 and so on. The fact of the matter is, silver can go down now, and it can also go up. There's no way to really know what's happening. The price is being manipulated just because there's a physical and because there are paper assets. Watch all the videos you want on YouTube, and you can listen to a lot of people. Nobody can actually tell you that this is not going to go any lower for silver. The one thing I do kind of know is that it's probably not going to go to zero. One of the things that did happen five or six years ago was people, and I suppose they're really still talking about about it now is the fact that there are silver shortages. I can't tell you how many times I've actually heard that where people are saying you will not be able to buy any silver. They've stopped producing it. The silver mines are going out of business. They can't produce silver at this low price and they always seem to do that. No mines really shut down. There's a lot of people that always talk about this mine's being shut down and that mine's being shut down but there's never a point where you can't buy silver from Atmex. There's never a point where your local coin dealer doesn't have any silver. You just mightn't sell it because it's too low. That might be one of the reasons there's a silver shortage. People aren't selling it because it's become so low. There's not a shortage of silver. There probably isn't going to be a shortage of silver in the near future. When we're talking about maybe 10, 15, 20 years down the line, I don't know. I don't have enough information on that. But there's one thing I can tell you right now. There isn't any silver shortage. A lot of silver around and you can pick it up at a real good price. Another great one is cash is trash. One that always brings a smile to my face. I've actually found cash quite useful when I want to pay my mortgage, my rent or my car insurance. Or some money away that I don't want to put into silver, yada yada yada. Some people do say cash is trash. This is made famous by a guy called Robert Kawasaki and a few others. Robert Kawasaki, who I'm not completely knocking, he actually has a very good book. I've read it. Here it is. Also, Mike Maloney is famous for saying these kind of things, but it's just not really the case. The fact is, you need cash on hand. If you don't have cash on hand or in a bank or somewhere, you're kind of up shit creek without a paddle. Most of these people like Kawasaki, of course, Mike Maloney, they're the people that are trying to sell you silver. So they don't mind taking the cash that is trash and then give you the silver they're trying to help you out. No, they're businessmen trying to make money because cash is not trash. Alright guys, we'll leave it there. Thanks a million for watching. If you liked the video, hit a thumbs up. If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down. I don't really give a flying fuck either way. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Let's get a conversation going. Guys, until the next one, thanks a million for watching the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye.